What's up, people? We're going live in three, two, one. Let's see if the microphone check is working. Let's see if uh, we got some audio. So, guys, uh, while you getting set up, while we getting set up, you getting ready to watch. This is part two of preparing actually for. Let me see. Let me know if you can hear the scratches. The scratches. Check, 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 check. Yeah, cool. We're ready, people. We're ready. Woo! So, we're just going to be waiting for some people to pile up. You already know. So, pile up. So, guys, we're going to be sharing this to all the pages so we can get actually to, I don't know, 50, 40 people live so we can go about campaign structure for domination. And that's going to be to actually dominate, okay? To dominate 2018. Q3 and Q4. All right. So that's what we're going to cover today. So guys, just be patient with us. I'm going to be welcome people like Justin. What's up, buddy? Just welcome uh, welcome people in the line. Remy, what's up? And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do you, did we share already or, or not yet? Okay, we're going to share. We're going to share this stuff. So guys, we, we just actually, what's up, Anthony? What's up, Jackie? Uh, we just actually waiting for some people to get on the line. That way we can actually start the training. Gianni, what's up? So we can actually start the training and actually go over the blueprint, how to dominate this Q3 and Q4 uh, once you find the right product. Okay, Joseph, what's up? Guys, listen, remember, it's, it's all about testing the right product. It's all about following the right strategy. Some of you guys get extremely dramatically distracted by shiny objects once you have not, something that is actually not working. So that's what I'm saying. Look, if you follow a proven strategy on how to test the products and you find the product, then you gotta move on on how to scale it. So we're gonna be covering, once you find the product, how to set up a campaign structure for total domination in this Q3, Q4, which is around the corner. It's July, so you guys gotta get ready to do that, okay? So I'm just gonna wait for a couple more minutes, couple more minutes, and uh, and we'll start. How you guys doing? Comment below, where are you coming from? What state, what country? Uh, and if you have, dude, if you got 30 minutes, stick around because you're gonna get a lot of value from this live, okay? Mohammed, what's up? <laughs> Let's wait for some. <laughs> What's up, man? Dude, we were literally at the office and I'm saying, fuck it, let's go live at 3 p.m. So we haven't even eat lunch, dude. I'm starving. I'm starving. Everything good, bro. We're just starving, but hey, look, we're going to do the live, close in 30 minutes and go eat something, you know? Go eat something. So you guys should have by now the structure on how to test, okay, test, which is not hard. When we test, what we do is we prep and then we scale, okay? Those are the three steps that you guys need to know and you guys need to follow a proven strategy, which we already covered in part one. The way we test is by following the Facebook algorithm by giving Facebook multiple variations of the products by using uh, interest, okay? Followed by one video ad with four thumbnails. Okay, and this is images. Okay, so once you do that and you find the product that is selling four days, that's the metric, four days, and it's profitable, you guys move to lookalikes. So what we're doing is pretty much getting the audience optimized for a 20% 
of the let's say two mil right of the two mil out in reach and then what we're doing it's creating a look-alike and then we're taking that into two mil all the way up to 10 mil okay and that's gonna be the two guys where we're gonna focus on scaling okay that's what we do pretty much the prep I call the prep it's gonna be all about right structure meaning if you do by one by three by five and the way we do these guys you guys already know the way we do these guys is pretty much you can test okay but you can say by one 50 percent off by three you can say uh 60 percent off and by five you can say 70 percent off or you can split test you can say okay the split test will be by two get one free or by three gets two free okay so those are the two structures that we do on prep okay every time we prep now to scale we already know that step one is lookalikes and then uh, attack of the clones okay and this is where we take the campaigns from six figures to seven figures dramatically fast or you can say four to six depending on your budget and six to seven figures guys in 30 days okay so that's what you want to concentrate can you guys see that down on the bottom there yes. awesome awesome cool so guys this is actually the structure test prepare and scale okay those are the three steps we need to focus on the way you test is pretty much that follow the metrics four thumbnails four days I'm not gonna go over this because we went over this on video number one where I explained an extremely dramatically freaking to the teeth um, you know details but you need to understand this in order to do that because if you don't understand this you're gonna be someone who's testing products with fear inside of you not knowing it's like fuck it's gonna work fuck it's not gonna work dude you gotta understand the metrics and you cannot get emotionally attached to what's going on in Facebook because you're, you're setting yourself up for failure okay so that is one thing understand the algorithm of Facebook test properly do not get emotionally attached Test a product, four days, non-profitable, move on, okay? If you're getting a bunch of two cards, make sure, this is basic question, guys. Make sure you're on purchase pixel already. Just if it's a brand new account, do 50 purchases, 50 fires on two card, then move on, move on to actually, actually, let me ask you this, guys, because we got 29 people on the live. What is your biggest, biggest challenge when testing products? I want you to comment down below what is the number one reason why you feel like you're failing on testing and you're not getting even to the prepare you're not even getting to the prepare which is number two or even number three which is scaling what is the number one reason why you feel like you're not getting to number three or number two okay so guys we're gonna move on and i'm gonna go over the campaign structure for domination bro i'm excited about this one man this is gonna be sick I'm actually gonna take a picture because this is gonna be this is actually guys you guys are here for a trick man because I can literally literally charge two thousand dollars just for this structure that I'm gonna share with you guys okay I can literally pack this up and charge two thousand dollars because any business who's running Facebook advertising that does this campaign is gonna generate stupid ROI okay stupid ROI so I'm just here giving you free value. So guys, please, if you like what you see, share this live, give me some hearts, comment, engage with us, okay? Because let's, you know what I'm saying, bro? You know what I'm saying? Oh, and make sure you follow me on YouTube and Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook. Give a like, give it a like to the page, okay? Cool, so we're, before we move on, before we, we move on, I wanna share a little story with you. And uh, let me see, Rambo. Rambo, Rambo, 
Sorry, guys. I just want to share my dog with you. He got his balls cut off. He got no more balls. No more balls. He was a dog that I... It wasn't... <laughs> so, you know, he gets started getting problems. So if you have a dog and you haven't chopped his ball off and he, if the dog is not like... <laughs> you know, they get problems when the, he's seven years old. So now he's walking on my house with a cone banging against to everything and anything. It looks like he does it on purpose, bro. It's like... Get this shit off of me, bro. I can't, I can't do anything. So he's walking around the house with a plastic cone. But the good news is that he got silicone balls. So his, his balls don't look like, you know, it looks like he has balls. But anyways, I just want to share that funny story with you. I want to show him because he looks funny as hell. But he's not here. So we're going to continue with the campaign structure for domination in 2018. Okay? So assuming you got one... Two, three on point. Okay. And this is, we already covered the one, two, three. Okay. We already covered the one, two, three. So assuming you have that, you have a winning product. Man, I don't even know how to say winning. Uh, we. Dude, oh my God. W I N N N N. ING winning product okay assuming you have a winning product and this is the mistake I actually made last year if I would apply this campaign guys I would have brought not, not, not kidding you I would have brought probably I don't know 15 to 25 percent more revenue Honestly, because I didn't apply these strategies. So what's the strategies? What's the strategy? I'm going to cover the strategy. So here's the structure. We have one campaign. We're going to call it C for campaign, right? And that campaign consists of uh, an ad set. We're going to call it A. And uh, an ad, we're going to call it B, which is the banner. The banner. So that's the structure we have, right? We send traffic, that's the interest, and it converts to sales. Boom. Simple as that. So once you run these guys, and let's say we run in these WC, which is website conversions, okay? We're doing one day click. We're doing one day click with video, okay? We're running, and let's say on A, we already moved to a lookalike because this is campaign domination. So we already, we're smart, we're running a lookalike, okay? We're running a lookalike, which means that now we have our own targeted traffic, okay? Which is a huge pool of targeted traffic set by initial conditions on the, on the, ad, on the initial conditions of the ad set from the interest. So now we move to lookalike, but this is what I ran last year, boom. And then I was doing retargeting, but not much, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up multiple touch points of retargeting. That's where the money is going to come in, guys. Okay, multiple touch points. How to do it is going to be pretty simple. We're going to freaking do this, okay? So let's say a customer saw the ad. Okay, let me do this. I'm trying to make it extremely easy to understand. So bear with me, okay? As I get the ideas coming in. So customer sees the campaign. Sees the asset, see the eye, and walk away. No buy. Okay. Then we have step number two, which is obviously what everybody's doing, retargeting. We're gonna call R. Okay. Okay, so now we got this guy who didn't buy on the retargeting campaign, which the first one is gonna hit, it's gonna be three days. This is what people do, right? Three days, seven days, 14 days. Now we're gonna take it a, a step notch. So this is what I was doing. Now it's gonna be one day retargeting, three days, Seven days, 14 days, 21 days, 30 days, 
and that's it. Boom. Okay. So now we're going to toggle all these points instead of this one, which is 3, 7, and 14 only. We're going to do 1, 3, 7, 14, 21, 30 days. But at each touch point of this campaign, which is this guy is going to get here. Okay. So same thing. It's going to go there. It's going to go there. It's going to go there. And let's say this guy walk away again. Boom. That's buy. No buy. I'm doing this extremely easy to understand guys. So if you guys have any questions so far, I mean, Moses is, is, is looking at the questions, but uh, I want to, I want to make sure you guys give me some chance to explain it. So now this guy, okay. I'm just going to move, move this, this, uh, so since I already show you that, let me just move sideways. I'm going to move here, which is going to be retargeting number three, which is, the three day, this is going to be one day. Okay. So you guys can actually, you guys can actually implement this right now. If you have a product working, please. Okay. One day, this is going to be three days. Marty says scam. Marty says scam. Marty says scam. <laughs> scam like S C A M. Yeah, like what is scam, bro? I don't understand. Explain it to me. Explain what is scam. Explain. I don't understand what is scam. <laughs> okay, so no buy is gonna go here again. Three, then add set A, then add set B. Okay, so we got the three days again. The guy doesn't buy. Boom, boom, boom. The guy walks away. No buy. And then this guy is gonna get retarded in day number and campaign number, which is actually. This is retargeting, retargeting uh, number step two, but it's step one in reality, okay? This is gonna be step three, but it's step two in reality. So now we're gonna have step four from the one, which is gonna be step three on retargeting, okay? And if the same thing happened, that, 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 no buy. This guy is gonna come over here to step number five, which is step number four, retargeting. So we're talking about one, two, three, four, five steps all the way down, okay? So step number four, this is gonna be seven days. And this is gonna be 14 days. Retargeting, the ad, the video. No buy. Then we're gonna take it down to step number five, which is the last one. Okay, let me see if you guys can see that last one. No, I think I gotta go down a little bit. Ooh, there you go. Can you guys see that step right here? If I go here, you can see it? Okay, cool. So step number six, which is step number five, finally on retargeting, is this right here. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we got it, right? You guys got it. So every single campaign you guys launch, every single campaign you guys launch is gonna fall down to this, this ladder of retargeting, which is gonna be one, two, three, four, five steps. Okay, six actually. It's actually six steps. So we're missing one here, but you got the point. One, three, seven, 14, 21, 30 days. After the 30 days, we don't want it on the sequence. So now we are creating an omnipresence, okay? We're creating an omnipresence within Facebook. We're creating an omnipresence. So that means that everybody who sees your ad, they see your ad. They see your ad. They not buy it. They're gonna get chased with one, two, three, four, five, six retargetings on Facebook. And the, the key about the retargeting, guys, the key about the retargeting is not to use the same post ID, but to use a different message. So what you wanna do on the first one 
it's you want to create awareness because it's day one. We're retarding them with day one. So day one, we're not going to offer a discount, okay? We're not going to say a discount. We're going to say, hey, you left your car open. You know, your car is about to expire within 24 hours. Would you like to finalize the purchase? I know life gets on the way. As an example, boom. So day one, okay, let me see if I can get over here. Yeah. Day one on retargeting, okay. Day one, we're gonna remember. Remember, remember me. Yo, Anthony is asking how many, how many sales um, do you start after for retargeting? Like how many sales do you need before you retargeting? This is step number three, uh, Anthony. Step number three. Step number three means that you're already in lookalikes and you're already scaling. It's a product that you're already scaling. I'm not gonna set up all this stuff testing because it's not gonna make sense, okay? It's not gonna make sense. This has to be a proven product that you're ready, ready to scale. And I call it the campaign structure domination because if you set up these, if you don't have this set up the way I'm showing you right now, and, and I'm gonna share with you what's gonna be the psychology points on everyone, you're gonna leave the 15 to 25% guarantee on the table, guarantee. It's like not having upsells, and upsells goes on prep. So the e-commerce learning world is going to cover all this stuff in detail, which is going to be testing, prep, what is some prep, what, do, what we need to have, considering upsells, increasing AOV, fine-tuning the funnel before we actually put gas to the pit. We actually press the accelerator to actually have the car moving forward in order to scale it. Make sense? Cool. So day number one, you just got to remember them. Hey, this is going to be like text message. Remember, they're going to be hitting on Facebook. They're gonna be hitting on SMS. They're gonna be hitting on email marketing, okay? They're gonna have your message from three different ways. Facebook, SMS, email. But Facebook is gonna be a 30 day ongoing with different messages. So retargeting number one, and here's the key. How do you do the retargeting? The retargeting, you don't do retargeting guys with, website, with actually link clicks or none of that stuff. The way you do retargeting and uh, I'm gonna explain you actually in this little piece of the board. It's actually, we do retargeting website conversion, but instead of the objective, instead of the objective using conversions, we're gonna use reach, okay? And we're gonna do one day. The reason why we use reach, can you guys see this right here? Okay, and the, the reason why you, you use your reach is because your CPM is gonna be cheaper, okay? And you're gonna reach more people. Instead of Facebook optimizing for the person who's gonna buy, you're gonna optimize for the reach of the custom outings you have generated. Whether it's one day, three days, seven days, 14 days, 21 days, three days. So we want to show those people as many times as possible. That's why we choose reach one day. So they're gonna be able to see your freaking ad like, I don't know, five, five times, maybe five times. So sometimes what happens is like customers go to the auto car and then they're freaking driving, life gets on the way, they don't check out. That's why the first retargeting campaign is gonna be an image and that image is gonna be life gets on the way. Here's a reminder, your car expires in 24 hours. Now, the retargeting day number three, okay? Day number three, it's gonna be a coupon. Let's say a 10% off, incentivize them. It's gonna be an incentivized contact. So it's gonna be a different image saying, look, I know you like this product, it's already added to your car, your car already expired, but if you would like to go ahead and get the product, you know, here's a 10% off, just to, to actually show you some gratitude uh, or whatever, you, you, you gotta be creative. Then day number three, day number four, uh, day number whoop, seven, okay, day number seven, this ad is gonna be showing them for like a long time because it's gonna be rich. So it's gonna, they're gonna be getting heated with that ad like left and right, left and right, plus SMS too. So day number seven, day number seven is actually the, the, the third point. So day number seven, we increase the discount to 15% off. Then uh, day number 14, which is the, the fourth point, their number 14, 
We still using the 15% off, but now what we're doing is we showing testimonials. So you gotta do a video, okay? You gotta create a video with testimonials or reviews. You can do review testimonials from, uh, you can get the reviews actually from AliExpress. AliExpress has images and the testimonials. So just do a video review of customers showing, just as, uh, you can actually create it on Facebook. Just get the pictures, get the pictures and create a, a photo slide video, photo slide video with uh, just scrolling through freaking uh, reviews. So this one is a 15% off plus reviews. Okay, now day number 21, we're gonna do, we're gonna increase to 20% off. This is, this is going down the ladder, you know. The cold, the cold is, the colder is the traffic and the retargeting, the less likely they're gonna buy, but that's why we increase uh, the chances, you know, 20%. You might be surprised how all those stuff work. And then lastly, 30 days, after 30 days, we don't want them on the sequence. We're gonna do 20%, again, plus the test, plus the reviews, okay? This is gonna be by itself. And this is gonna be like blowout sale, whatever. You, you gotta get creative, okay? The point is like, we're pretty much farming the, 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 the retargeting for those people who don't buy. Now, the trick about this is actually excluding. If you don't exclude the right audience, you're gonna get, this, this can get really messy really quick because it's so many retargeting. So on day one, you need to exclude. Okay, let me just go, where I can go, there is so much stuff. Uh, let me go here. And let me just put key, key of retargeting. It's excluding. And this is where a lot of people can get confused and this is where a lot of mess can be created because if you don't exclude the people who purchase, okay? And if you don't exclude the days you don't want them to show, it's gonna be messy, okay? You don't wanna be showing the, 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 the discount of someone who already purchased because if someone purchased, and he's getting retargeted with a freaking 20% off, bet your, bet your ass that they're gonna contact you, your store, they're gonna send you an email and they're gonna ask you for owner of 20% because they're seeing the 20%. So you have to have on point all the audiences creative. You gotta have the purchase audiences, you gotta have the exclusion created, and you gotta exclude the days. If you're doing retargeting for one day or three days or seven days, you're gonna exclude the right the right, the right audience. Because if you don't exclude the right audience, you're gonna be overlapping the audiences with the same ad. We don't want that. We just wanna show the 15%, only the people who seven days in the sequence. You wanna show the 14 days, only the people who are 14 days in the sequence. And you, this one is not gonna cost you too much trouble because it's the same discount actually, 15, 15. But uh, the, the 10% to the 20 and the 20%, you know, it, it's, it's an, dramatically difference. So here's the blueprint guys for total domination and I guarantee you with this structure of retargeting and doing it by like that and doing it like this because this is a key. This is where people is like, oh shit. So how I'm gonna run it? I'm giving it to you right here for free. You're gonna do a website conversion. The objective is gonna be reach one day. So if you apply this to any business you may have, whether it's lead generation, e-commerce, whatever the fuck you're selling, I guarantee you're gonna make more money with, with your current traffic. This is how to make more money with actually the money you're spending already. So that's that. And remember, this is just step number three. This is the overview blueprint of step number three. Obviously, I'm gonna have everything in detail created it behind the scenes inside the Ecomillionaire Warrior. And then the step number two is the crucial step, which is the prep, okay? That is the prep, and that is gonna cover upsells and all the stuff, all the good stuff, and AOV, how increase your average, your average order value, okay? Let me see, half an hour in, half an hour in. Okay, cool, Let, let's take some questions, guys. Let's take some questions. JD says, go nuggets, man. You guys enjoy this content, man? Alan's in, he's like, You guys awesome. enjoy, who? Alan says, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Getting ready, bro. Getting ready. Ooh, getting ready, man. Because this Q3, Q4 is gonna be about. It. It's gonna get nasty, bro. It's gonna get nasty. And um, that's all I gotta say, man. It's 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 
it's the way we see stuff, the way you like remember a lot of a lot of a lot of you guys, even me myself, bro, when when I don't put it like that on a whiteboard, it's hard to actually set it up because it, you don't you're not seeing it. That's why I say it's so important to write things down because once you have a blueprint like this, it it it, it, it everything makes sense. It's like freaking seeing, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like seeing the machine, bro, exactly how it's gonna be turning the wheels, man. And now the machine is gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm horrible driving, bro. I, you get the point, bro. It, it's a freaking machine, dude. It's gonna be a machine. And once you set this up the right way, man, this is gonna, the more traffic you pump in, and this is what I'm gonna get. Man, I wish I could delete this. Um, kinda, yeah, take a picture. Take a picture of that. Guys, I'm about to delete this because I want to share something with you. And this is, this is uh, actually, Wait, take, a picture. take a picture. Yeah, landscape, please. Good. All right, so, so here's what I want to cover now. And this is the metric that you guys need to actually look for, okay? This is a metric you actually guys need to look for because this is where a lot of people... Lose, lose their ass off. Uh, hold on. So let's say now that I implemented the retargeting and now you can actually see and compare the numbers because you're going to be able to see what is the CPA on retargeting. Okay. What is your CPA on retargeting? And what is your campaign CPA as an average? All well, this is just an average. Okay, so now this is two metrics that you need to guys look for. Okay, the number one obviously is gonna be retargeting. You know, the retargeting is gonna convert cheaper. So let's say on average my campaign CPA is converting at twenty dollars on average. I know my retargeting is gonna be on the ballpark around seven dollars and fifty cents more or less. Could be less. Could be slightly over. But I guarantee you, I mean, I know it's going to be way less than that. I'm just throwing numbers. So what happened now? Once you know that your retargeting campaign converts to 750, now you're making more profit. Let's say that my profit margin, and this is the other metric you guys need to know, it's the cost. And this is funny as it sounds, but not a lot of people know this. Cost of the products. And you say, oh, Gabriel. Okay, Come on, man. Who's not going to know? Let me ask you right now. If I ask you, open your account and I ask you right on the spot, what's your margin? You're going to be like, uh, ooh, uh, you're going to start freaking counting with your fingers. You don't know. Be honest. You don't know. If I ask you, what's your margin right now? You need to know that number by like your name. If I ask you, what's your margin? You're going to say 43 less than 22 cents. Okay. So the cost of the product is the number one key metric you guys need to know. And a lot of people don't know this. I give you another tip that you can implement right now with all your freaking accounts. In your account, Facebook account, your campaigns need to have the margins written down. That means that if your campaign number one, it's WC... Let's say iPhone cover, okay? And then you do US traffic, then you need to put the freaking margin, $17.25. So now every time you see your ads, you know before you go into the ad set level that on the campaign level, okay? On the campaign level, just by a quick glance, you know, fuck. My margin is $17.25, meaning this is your break and even point. Okay, BEP, break and even point. So now, since I have this, I can tell any freaking VA or anyone, look, dude, go to my account, look at the data, seven three yesterday today numbers and kill anything that it's above above 17 dollars and 25 cents which is my break-even point 
I need to convert less than that. So if my profit is $17.25, now for the for the because of the numbers that I have there, okay, I'm gonna pretend, I'm gonna pretend that this product has a margin because I always look for bigger margins of uh, $27. Okay, so my margin is $27, CP is $20 average. That's good because guess what? My AOV, because I already went to the, to the prep and my prep is on point, so my AOV, it's $32. That means that every person as an average spends $32 as a combined outings on my store. Why? Because they're buying, they're not only buying one, they're buying three and they're buying five. So one is converting at 60%, three is converting at 20%, and five is converting at 10%. Oops, my bad, this is converting at 70. Okay, more realistic numbers. So what happened? Three at 20% and this is what? This is making me $27, this one is making me $34, and this one is making me $37, you see? So combine the average, the AOV now is 32. Make sense? 32. That's how you get the metrics down there, 32. So now I know $32, then you know what? My profit now is because of the AOV is going to be 32 bucks. So now you can say, okay, fuck it. If I'm converting at $20 on the front end, I'm still profitable. The more traffic, the more traffic you pump in on the front end, the more traffic you're going to have to feed your retargeting, which is going to convert at $750. Okay, and then obviously there's a whole math between all those numbers that I'm, I, don't, I don't have time to, to actually explain now, but this is just to give you an idea because some of you guys are not even taking in consideration the prep of the product and how to actually take a product that is barely breaking even into being positive because a lot of you guys have had products that are converting extremely cheap like $17, $14, $10 and you're like, fuck, I'm not profitable, I'm gonna move on. Listen. If you get a product to convert in $10, $11, $14, or $17, it's not Facebook that is wrong. It's you on the way you are presenting the offer and the way you are prepping the offer. You got to be thinking about how can you increase the AOV because, listen, Gabriel, I'm getting sales all day long at $14, but I'm not profitable because my breaking even point is $13.55. Well, guess what? You need to increase the AOV by using upsells upsells okay using upsells using the prep the one three five a lot of people are leaving that on the table so you gotta you gotta do that okay even if it's fourteen dollars congratulations man you're making sales you're making sales but you are concentrating in 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 the wrong thing you gotta you gotta you gotta actually see this this is your whole business this is inside the, the business it's like man you know, if you're getting sell for $14 and you're making it work because $14 is, is selling all day long, but you cannot make a profit because your, your product margins are too slim, you gotta come up with a sequence of upsells or freaking seeing what's the retargeting converting at and seeing if you have that in place. Make sense? So guys, I think we covered a lot today, okay? We covered a lot. If you're new to this live feed, this is just the end of it. Before this was madness and the stuff that you guys can actually implement right now, right after this call today, tonight. It's not, it's not theory. This is stuff that you can actually take action right now and implement inside your business. So um, without, without that, I'm starving, freaking starving. I have, I have to go eat lunch. Let's, let's take five minutes for a, Q, a, a quick Q&A, guys. Give me hearts and likes, man, if you like this, please, so I can reach more of my own people who like my page, because Facebook is greedy like that. You know, the, the less engagement, the less will show my, my stuff to my own audience. It's ridiculous, bro. They're getting it's greedy. Beautiful. I love it, bro. Awesome. Awesome, dude. Awesome. I'm, I'm glad you guys enjoy it. Um, you know, all, like I said, all this stuff, you just got to concentrate. It's the one, two, three, the one, two, three test. I already explained video number one, live 
was last week, how Facebook algorithm work. Once you understand that, you guys will become a pro on Facebook. Facebook is not gonna be an issue. Trust me, Facebook is not the issue. The issue is like understanding how to do it and how to operate your business. It's not like before or not like Q4. Guys, let's face it. Like I said, if you start e-commerce in Q4, anything you put is gonna sell. Anything you put is gonna sell. But you're not gonna understand this and you're gonna be leaving money on the table. You're gonna be making money, but you're gonna be leaving money on the table by not implementing all the strategies. Guess what? Like I said, man, last year with the stuff I know this year, I left on the table 20, 25% because I didn't know this stuff that I'm explaining you today in so much detail that it's gonna be so easy to understand. And that is the difference. It's not like you're gonna make, you know, you're gonna succeed the Q3, Q4 because anything sells, but this is gonna make you extra money, you know, and that's where the back end and the inside of the business come. Once you understand this, you can set up any business. It's, it's a matter of time of focusing in one thing because, dude, you gotta focus on one thing only. The man who chases many rabbits catches none, okay? Even if they look, oh my God, I'm gonna catch all these fucking rabbits, you catch none because only, you gotta chase only one rabbit, okay? Remember that. Think long term, short term thinking. Yeah, quick money, quick here, quick buck. Yeah, I'm making money here. You're always gonna be chasing, 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 and that is a grinder. The people who grind, grind, grind produces less, the less results than the rainmakers. The rainmaker is the guy who's focusing on on the whole structure, focusing only one thing that's not get distracted and he's crushing it every, every, every fucking year. So. Be a rainmaker, not a grinder, guys. Be a rainmaker, not a grinder. Grab this information, take your own notes, apply it into your business the way you can understand them the best, and wish you the best of luck, man. If you get results, just send me a screenshot. That makes me happy. See the results. But this is actually stuff that you can implement, like I said, today, tonight, tomorrow. All right? So I'm going to delete this whiteboard before this ink gets dried up. Dry it up. And guys, if you like this video, you know, share with your with your fellow entrepreneurs, you know? Share it. Share it. This is actually going to be live also on YouTube. When? Tonight. Tonight. We'll be up on YouTube tonight, so you can actually take, not on Facebook, because Facebook is annoying, but on YouTube, you're going to be able to actually see the seconds, click, comment, share with the community, and stuff like that. So guys, let me take just a quick five minutes q a before i go to eat and uh that's it bro i think we're ready to wrap it up so go ahead if any anyone any anybody guys have questions right now is the time i'm gonna do literally five minutes shit like the people say beautiful bro i love it it's it. you. awesome money symbol to the moon to the lungs i didn't understand you at the beginning of the year now it's clear like water there you go. There you go. You see? No questions, no questions. Awesome. Awesome. So I want to, I want, guys, I asked you a question at the beginning. The beginning question was, what's the biggest challenge that you have on, on, on getting to this step number three, which is the scaling? What is the biggest challenge you, you encounter inside your business that is, not letting you go to step number two, which is like prep, and step number three, which is, bro, I, I love it by the way, bro. Step number one test, step number two prep, and then scale. Three, dominate. dominate, bro. Test number three, dominate. Somebody did say the answer earlier. They said um, they didn't know when to kill the ad. Guys, when to kill the ad is super simple. Always launch and then look at your data four days after okay let's let, give facebook four days to optimize i kill first before the four days because i already know and i'm, I'm like i said guys as you go as you as your experience grow as you have more skin in the game you actually gonna become better and you're gonna have decisions that you're you may not have at the beginning so at the beginning what i recommend is like follow the rules Launch a campaign, give Facebook four days, and then kill whatever is not profitable. Whatever is above your margin that I explained that you should have your margins written down on the title of the campaign 
So every time you open Facebook, you know your margins. So when you go to the ad set level, you already know what's your profit and what's not. Anything above your margin, just kill. Okay, you gotta check the last, actually because it's four days. Yeah, four days, $10 budget, right? Yes, $10, or you can do five. You can do either or, there's, there's not a budget set. The amount of money will determine how fast you gather the data, okay? So this is the type of business that if you have $2 to spend per app set, you can do so, man. And if you get lucky and you gotta sell, hey, you make stupid ROI, but that's how you start, little by little, right? So you make make $100 or so extra $200 a month, and then next month, now I have $200 more to spend on ads. So now I'm best, instead of testing with $2 ads, I can test with five bucks ads, and that's how you gotta see it. And another thing, another tip that I can give you, this is just life. Guys, don't put a time frame to your success, okay? A lot of people say, oh man, I need money right now. You're focusing on your current situation. Do not do that to your business and to yourself because you're gonna be hurting your business. Do not have a time frame that if you don't make it work within certain time, certain time you're gonna quit. You can't do that, man. You just gotta go ahead and do it. Do not put a time frame. Do not focus on your current situation because you're not gonna make uh, rational decisions. Every single decision you need to make on your advertising and in your business is gonna be influenced by the way you feel. If you are in a tough situation like I was back in 2015 that I was like, or I pay the rent or I sell an instrument because I don't have how to pay the rent, your decisions are not gonna be clear. You, you understand what I'm saying? They're not gonna be clear because back then in 2015 when I didn't have money to pay the rent and I was literally selling my instruments, if you ask me a question about that, I was on the right, uh, not on the right, I was on the wrong emotional level of making decisions. Once you have a tough situation, like a lot of people do through life, the decisions on your business on advertising, they're not gonna be clear because you're not gonna be thinking of the outcome of your pockets. So that's what I'm saying. Don't put a time limit. Budget yourself with whatever you can afford right now at the moment, okay? And if you need extra money, there's always uh, Lyft or Uber that you can make extra $400 a month easily just by driving on the weekends, okay? And, and then invest, you, you will have a little bit more money to invest in your business. But this is not easy, man. You gotta make a sacrifice. You gotta invest in yourself. You gotta do a lot of self-development mindset because that's where people lack off. It's mindset. It's the way you see, the way it affects your decisions. And, and that's it, man. That's so it. Got a, a guy that says, um, if you're new and you're in the silver package, do you recommend buying the gold or going for the warrior? Dude, the the answer is simple, man. You know, it's 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 on you. You know, it's on you. I'm gonna tell you. Look, I'm a guy who who actually wanna jump in into into the into the actually the best that I can get because the fastest are gonna be my results. So if you're not in the position to invest in 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 the the warrior, for example, what you need to do is you already have the silver. Get results with what you got. Okay, get, stop chasing the shiny objects. Get to work, don't make excuses. Don't think that like by upgrading yourself to a bigger, uh, a bigger, uh, uh, how can I say it? Uh, it? Let me just put it this way, man. If I'm going to a university to become a doctor, but I'm, I'm, I'm on the first chapter, it's like, why, would, why should I jump to, to the, uh, to the latest exam to become a doctor when I, when I have to go through the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? So you can actually get results with what you got. That's what I'm getting at. But if you want my answer, what's the best? Obviously the best is the warrior because it's gonna be weekly Q and A's like we're doing just right now. You're gonna learn the, the stuff that are, what's up Chris, you, you got here late, man. You got here late. Actually, uh, uh, we, we share so much stuff. You should go back once they finish and check it out because insane stuff we share on this live that you can actually implement right now to any type of business you're doing. Uh, anyways, yeah, I mean, like I said, I went to a mastermind in New York City and, and I joined the program two weeks prior the mastermind. I barely joined the program and once I saw the post inside the group Q&A weekly that I was a mastermind, I jump in without an excuse. 
I, I told Moses, book the trip. We're going to New York, man. That's what it is. Because I like to skip the, 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 the learning curve. I want to go straight to the gold. That is me. So uh, if we don't have any more questions, we're going to go because we got to go eat. Someone says that you speak like an angel voice. You speak like an angel voice? Oh, thank you, bro. I barely speak English, bro. What's that, bro? <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's why. That's why. That's why. Look. Now I have green hair, bro. How's that look? How's that look? Yeah. So I was asking, can you restart all campaigns? Absolutely, man. You can reset all campaigns. And uh, like I said, every it's like pretty much launching one because once you flush the, the algorithm, once you flush the algorithm Facebook and you let it rest for three, four days, whatever, you relaunch and it's going to be new initial condition sets. No problem, uh, Derek. Awesome, guys. We're good? We're good. Guys, thank you so much for attending this live. Thank you for the time of your day. Now we're going to go to eat. Bye-bye.